Welcome back to Life Skills with Mr K. This week we're going to be working on how to make a piece of toast. Starting with making sure your toast is safe to use, checking the settings on your toaster, and then making a piece of toast, and then applying a condiment such as butter onto your toast. So, let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at the settings on the toaster. So, there are three buttons here on my toaster. Your toaster will have similar uh, functions. Um, this symbol here has a snowflake on a piece of bread. That means to defrost the bread. Uh, often people keep their bread in a, to in a freezer to stop uh, wasting any bread by it going past its uh, use-by date. The next symbol is if you want to reheat your toast, so if you've made toast and it's gone cold. And then the next symbol is to cancel. So once you've started toasting, you can press that and it will stop the toaster. Then you've got this lever here to bring down the bread uh, to make the toaster start, like so. And then to cancel. And then here you've got a dial, which you can turn to depending on how um, dark, how brown you want your toast to be. Okay, so before you start toasting, what you need to do is to check that your toaster is, is safe to use. So um, the reason you do this is something that I've learned the hard way. Uh, on my first lesson ever, being a life skills teacher, as a lot of you know, uh, I didn't check my toaster and set the whole school's fire alarm system off, meaning the whole school had to be evacuated. And yes, my lovely pupils will never let me forget that. So thank you very much for that, guys. So the way to do that is make sure you're safe, turn off the wall, unplug it, and then check inside to make sure that there's no big bits. Of course, there's going to be crumbs. Um, uh, toast is very crummy. Uh, so check if there's any big pieces stuck in there. If there are any, you'll need to empty them into the sink or into the bin. Um, and then as long as it's clean inside, you're ready to go. So then you want to plug it back in, turn it on, and you can get started. Okay, so we're ready to start uh, toasting now. So we've got everything out that we all need, um, all the condiments that we're going to want to use afterwards. Obviously not going to use them all, you choose what you want to. So you've got butter, um, apricot jam, Nutella, strawberry jam, peanut butter, uh, honey. You could have a range of other choices as well. Um, but again, yeah, don't do them all at once, that would be disgusting. Right, so we'll get our bread out. I'm going to do one slice for now, I'm not too hungry, not too greedy. I'm going to put it in there, like so. Push the bread away. And then we're going to look at the settings. If you're not sure what setting to choose, I'd choose uh, halfway round for now. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll start on a three. Um, and then we'll pull the leaf down in a minute. We're never going to leave the toaster unattended. So if you feel that it might be burning, you can press the cancel button. If it pops up and it's not done to how you like it, you can put it down for a further time. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now we can have a look at the toast. Um, remember, not don't touch it straight away because the toaster is surprisingly hot. Um, so you can have a look, leave it a little bit, and then we're gonna have a quick look. And I think I've chosen the right setting there, so I don't have to put it down for any longer. Uh, if it wasn't done to how you like it, you could flip it upside down and put it back in for additional time. Okay, so I'm gonna go for I'll just go for butter today. Okay, so when you're putting something on your toast, what you want to be careful is to not put too much on at a time, put a little bit on at a time, start at one edge in the corners and make your way across. I know it sounds simple, but again, I've seen a lot of people slap loads of butter on uh, and then you will scrape it back into the tub and it's all gross and crummy um, or just waste lots or have a really buttery bit of toast. So just a little bit at a time, start in a corner, brush it across. Although this seems like a simple task, it's harder than it looks. Ok, 
Okay, make sure we go all the way to the edges. Okay, I'm going to show you the button now. And see how I've only left a few crumbs there, I'll try and scrape them out now. Just so they're not left for whoever's next. Okay. Okay, so a few pointers uh, to make you aware of. Sometimes uh, the bread that you put into the toaster will get stuck. In that situation, the best thing for you to do is to go and ask an adult for help. And what they'll do is they'll come over to the toaster, they'll turn it off at the wall, they'll unplug the toaster, um, and then they'll uh, very carefully find a way of getting the, to the toast out. They will never get anything metal like the knife and stab it into the toaster because toasters use electricity and you do not want to get electrocuted, it will not be fun. So never, ever put anything metal in a toaster. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this video very helpful. Um, another thing to point out is when you make toast, make sure that you keep it somewhere safe as my wife that is sat right there has ate the toast I've just made, unfortunately. Um, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel. If you want any work, go to my blog, the link's below, and I'll see you soon.